here might be good. Look at my head, right? These are all bruises from where I've hit the water, my arms have collapsed, and I've whacked myself in the head. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of competition since the World Championships last year. So it's been a long off season and it hasn't exactly gone to the best of plans, let's put it that way. Guys, I'm on the struggle bus today. But this week has been a tough week. Getting here to Beijing, China, the jet lag has hit everyone in Team GB pretty hard. So I've been feeling a little bit slow, a little bit heavy and it's been a tough week to get my head around mentally, but today was the first day of competition with Dan in the men's 10 meter synchro. First thing I did was got some breakfast and then I went straight to the pool on the bus and then it was time for a little bit of warming up. And then it got down to the serious stuff, the competition, the first one at the FINA Diving World Series. Pretty nervous going into it, not gonna lie. I was not expecting anything from it because of the preparation that we've had. We just wanted to go out there, get through it and do six solid dives. The first dive that we did was an inward one and a half somersaults pipe. <laughs> Now, with the first two dives, we usually struggle to get high marks because of the fact that our entries aren't usually very good. So that's where we normally fall behind. But we got the highest score we've ever, ever got on the inward one and a half pike, 53 plus. Can't remember exactly, but it was 53 point something. The next dive on our list was a new dive that we've never done in synchro before because we used to do a reverse one and a half somersaults half twist. Now we do a back one and a half somersaults with half a twist. We actually changed sides for this dive, so I stand on the far side because the way that we twist, it looks better when I'm stood on the other side. Which is weird, I know, but for the judges, we want to make sure that everything looks really nice. And it was a solid dive, it was 50 points, and those two combined dives together were the highest that we've ever scored in competition, so we were definitely pretty happy with those. Our next dive was a reverse three and a half somersaults with tuck, which is actually one of the more difficult dives in our list because we start off in synchro events with two easy ones and then we move on to the more difficult ones. Hey! And it was solid. The synchro was good, we landed vertical, there wasn't anything amazing, the entries were a little bit heavy, but we were off to a good start at the optionals. Then our next dive was an inward three and a half somersaults with tuck, which is the easier ones of the optional hard dives that we do. So we stand backwards, rotate forwards towards the board three and a half times, and then hit the water as vertical as we can do, really. but our entries were a little bit heavy, but the synchro scores were good, our distance from the board was good, so we got a very solid score of just under 80 points. Next dive was a back three and a half somersaults piked, one of the more difficult dives in our list. Wow! So we stand backwards, rotate three and a half somersaults backwards in a pike shape. I have been struggling with this dive in training, and so has Dan, but I managed to get mine into the water for eight and a half, nine. Dan got into the water on a little bit shorter vertical, so it's a little bit heavy, so we got penalised a little bit for the synchro scores because we didn't both land vertical, but overall we were still in second place and in contention for medals going into the last round. In the final round, we had the front four and a half somersaults with Tuck, and if you've watched my vlog from Sunday, you can tell I was struggling with that dive a lot since I've been here and it did put me in a bit of a bad mood throughout the week and I was a bit worried about it. And it didn't exactly go to plan. It was better than it has been, but it still wasn't where I wanted it to be for the individual events and for the rest of the year. We just finished the men's 10 meter synchro final and we managed to get a sneaky bronze medal. Yeah, pretty happy with that considering how training's been going and how I've been feeling all week. So, positive thoughts ahead of the next synchro tomorrow. I've lost the medal. Where is the medal? Oh, it's in my pocket. It's in my pocket. It's all right, guys. It's got it. I've got it. I've got it. This 
is what we came away with. A nice bronze medal. And tomorrow, I compete in the mixed three meter synchro with Grace. So, tomorrow's gonna be a whole nother competition. So you may be wondering why I'm in bed, and that is because it has been a long day. I had the mixed synchro event today. So I'm gonna take you back to the beginning where Grace and I did a little bit of warming up. I also did some exercise to try and get my legs going because it's a springboard event, I wanted them to be pingy and moving. So I did some lunges, some lunge jumps, some TRX stuff, but anyway, here's what I did. And then it was time for the competition. Going into this event, it was the first competition that we'd done together since the World Championships in 2017 where Grace and I got a silver medal. So, you know, we wanted to make sure that we're staying up in that standard, but we had a lot to prove and we just went in there not really expecting too much. And the first dive we did was a back dive pike. <laughs> it was a solid enough dive. It was pretty steady, didn't go over 50 points, so it was a very nice start, very steady and very consistent. The next dive we did was a back one and a half somersaults half twist, where we face backwards, do half a turn and then spin towards the water. And again, it was one of the better ones that we've done, we were very happy with it, it was consistent, nothing special, nothing dr like drastically bad, so I was pretty happy with that. And then it got onto the spinny stuff, so we did an inward two and a half somersaults piked. And it's when we start doing the harder dives, because you do two easy ones and three hard ones in the mixed synchro event. Yay! The next dive was the first hurdle step of the list, which I get really nervous about because the springboard moves. I'm used to doing platform where the thing doesn't move. So, I remember walking to the end of the board, the hurdle step was good, the takeoff was good, and I remember pressing out of the water, and, and you know, I can judge how a dive goes just by Jane's reaction and whether I see her, you know, cheering. So, I was pretty happy with our reverse two and a half. Our final dive, we were actually going into that round in fourth place. So, we had a lot to pick up, because we didn't want to come fourth. That's not where we want to be finishing. So. Going into the last round, we're just like, you know what, who cares, we're just going to do the best we can and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and we were taking off and we were spinning at the same speed, we hit the water and again I looked straight to Jane and I could hear her cheering. <laughs> and when you hear Jane cheering, you know you've done good. So we just finished the second event, the mixed three meter synchro with Grace, and we came away with a silver medal. Cheek little silver, so pretty happy with that. She won though. Not happy so I'm not about talking that. to her anymore. Not happy. No. Get them next time. But two events out of two medals, which is pretty buzzing to be honest, although individual tomorrow. Fantastic gymnastics as well. So yeah. So tomorrow I've got the individual event. So fingers crossed I can manage my dives. Because they haven't been going too well, if I'm honest. I also did a little bit of recovery from today's competition, which I did not like. All right, Go for it. come on, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. I've got to hate getting into a lifeguard <laughs> so much. <sighs> ah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Right, ahead of my competition tomorrow, it's all about the recovery. So I'm doing a bit of an ice bath to make sure my legs are nice and fresh for my individual competition today, tomorrow. But for now, I need to just concentrate on not passing out, so. And, and breathe. And breathe. <laughs> But anyway, for me now, it's off to bed because I have got another long day tomorrow, up early for the individual event. Bye. Here might be good. Look at my head. Right? 
These are all bruises from where I've hit the water, my arms have collapsed, and I've whacked myself in the head. It hurts, obviously. Put some ice on it. But basically what happened when every time I was hitting the water and training and stuff, my arms were collapsing and I whacked myself in the head and it like hurt a little bit. But anyway, the individual event. Where do I even start? First dive I did in my competition was a reverse three and a half. Started off pretty solidly, eight and a half. Then the in with three and a half, not massively great, a little bit short and splashy, seven and a half, eight. Then my twister got a terrible start and landed a bit splashy. And then arm stand, my arms are already a little bit buckly. So spinning around, hit the water, my arms buckled a little bit too. So that was another seven-ish dive. Then I had the front four and a half, I threw, took off, literally grabbed my kneecaps when I was spinning round when you want to be down on your shins to be able to pull into a tuck shape. Didn't get that, so I landed very, very short and that was pretty much the dive that cost me uh, a place in the final. And I had a back three and a half pike to finish. It was a solid dive, it wasn't anything amazing. And yeah. I didn't make the finals. So, with every couple of triumphs, there seems to be a defeat. A um, little bit disappointed, to say the least, with the performance. Really wanted to be able to show a better performance than that. But overall, from Beijing, I have to come away po with some positive vibes. I mean, I got a silver and a bronze medal here from this competition. So, I can't be too disheartened, especially with how I've been feeling going into this competition. So, two medals, and now we leave to go to Japan for the next leg of the World Series. So, it's constantly moving. We're constantly going. Put it that way. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see what I get up to in Japan and all that kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of my performances. Go easy on me on the individual event. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Boom.